This video is brought to you by Saltwater Soul. Check them out online today, saltwatersoul.com. It's not just a brand, it's also a lifestyle. Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And today I want to talk about flounder. I want to talk about flounder fishing. I want to talk about the rigs that I use. What is going on out there right now on the water? I mean, we are just moments away from the flounder closure. Just moments away from the closure. From November 1st, from November 1st to December 14th, the flounder harvest is closed flounder season is closure it is the fishery is closed you cannot harvest any flounder until after december 14th and there's a lot of speculations why there's uh a lot of uncertain uncertainty why that that is i did a video on it last year i met with a couple marine biologists and they laid it out and explained it all to me. I'm not going to get into detail. If you want, you can go back and, and watch that video. There's a link in the description section of this video. So if you want to figure it out and, and watch the interview and curious, then head that way. But before we go any further, I want to just say thanks. Thank each and every one of you for clicking on this video and watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Don't forget to like the video. Also, leave a comment. You got a comment. You have a question, comment, concern, then leave it down below. I want to give a few tips now. I, I've made a lot of flounder videos. Um, flounder is one of my favorite, right? Avid angler. Thank you. One of my favorite. Flounder is one of my favorite fish to fish for. It's uh, one one of the, the fish that I'm probably most passionate about as well, and it's a fish that I don't remind I don't mind at all catching and releasing. Not not only just when it's closure, but just any time. You know, I I want to see the population strong. I I let them go, let them fish on, let them swim on, and make some more babies, and so we can have a healthy fishery. So, what? What are some of the tips? One thing that I want you to keep in mind is where are the flounder? Flounder are around structure, but flounder are on bottom. They are a bottom fish. So what you want to do is when you are fishing for flounder, you want to make sure that you stay on bottom. Uh, if you are on a boat or on a pier or on a ledge or even wade fishing uh, or rock fishing, bank fishing, you want to make sure that you stay on bottom. So when you cast out, as you work your lure back to your boat or wherever you're at, your the lure has a tendency to rise in elevation. If you're just jigging at the same uh, cadence or the same sequence of style of, of retrieving, if you keep going the same way, then it's going to rise in column. Your lure is going to rise and rise and rise in column to to where you're at. If you're up here, you're on a boat, the bottom's down here underneath the water. As you're jigging back, it's just going to rise in level. So just keep that in mind. Slow down a little bit. Let your lure fall back down to the bottom and, you know, give it a, maybe a three or four second count, just depending on how deep the water is. Let it go back to the bottom and then just start fishing and retrieving and bouncing on the bottom or however you're retrieving. Just continue to what you did before. But just give it a, give it a second, you know, give it a few minutes. Let it let it, you know, a few seconds, let it fall to bottom and then start retrieving again. You know, I am, by nature, I, I talk fast, but I also fish fast. I fish really fast. I, I joke around a lot and then the only fish that I catch are, beside, I say that I, the only fish I catch are the dumb ones. But I also say that if you want me to catch you, then you have to be an Olympic swimmer because I will fish fast. So I got to remind myself, slow it down, let my lure fall back down to the bottom, make sure I'm in contact with the bottom because that's where the flounder are. If you're not on bottom, then you're fishing for something else besides flounder. So that's tip number one, stay on the bottom, fish around structure. And number two was just the rigs that I use. Now, everybody is, if you're familiar with the channel, then you're familiar with the Getter Done rig. That is my favorite rig to use that's my number one rig for flounder i've i've been asked before can you fish can you catch other fish on it absolutely i've caught trout flounder reds um you know and then some of the un, more undesirable fish like uh croaker whiting um hardhead gaff top even offshore you know putting a squid on that and dropping that down uh we've caught 
uh, red snapper on it, not just with squid, but with other other live baits as well. Or well, the squid wasn't live, but other baits as well. You know, and you can use live bait on the for the get her done rig. And if you're not too familiar how to tie the get her done rig. Uh, here's a clip of Captain Cody when we originally made this video a few years ago. Here's a clip and shows you kind of how to tie the kitter done ring. All right, so uh, I, I usually use about a two and a half, three foot leader to start off with, and then I'll trim it to however I need it. So I'll go up uh, about a foot or so like this, and I'll do a, a double overhand knot. I'll go slow. So a double overhand is you make a loop, you go inside the loop, you do it twice. If you do it once, it's not as strong and it breaks easier to me. So then you just tighten her up, I got her right there, and I take my hook, if it go through this big line, yeah, so there, and then I'll do a, poly, a palomar knot, which is another loop knot, kind of, so you go through, you make a loop, you go through the middle of that loop, you pull it, then the hook goes through that loop, cinch her down like that so that's that part of it and then I try to get it about seven or eight inches off the bottom so I'll I want my weight to be about right here then you can see how pretty that hook stands out there for when you're jigging so we'll go to about right there I do just a, a goofy you know three overhand knots on that so it'll break off easy and uh, but that's it right there I'll put a swivel up here you know I'll tie my tie my uh, my main leader to that right there and uh and i'm just jerk 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 you know I'm, I'm just barely bouncing my rod tip and this bait is just going up and down up and down on the bottom like that i'm just barely moving it but it's kind of fast but it really works well you know and that's that's what i've been doing awesome. for a long time and i also seen you put a chatter weight on yeah, top too yeah oh yeah yeah i do use the chatter weight some too so i kind of forgot about that i started doing that in the, the last year or so but i'll put a chatter weight here on the end or a swivel one of the things that I would note is that uh, I also recently started using an H2O Express hook. In case you can't find that six cent hook, there's an H2O Express hook that I do use quite a lot now. And it's a little easier to find and it's a little cheaper on the budget. And also half ounce sinker. Uh, and a ha half ounce sinker is, is the way to go um, weight wise. When you are looking i think in the video we said a full ounce but it's really a half ounce it was in the description section of that video i did correct it but i, I didn't do it in the editing process i didn't realize it till after the video had come out that uh indeed you know a misspoke may have taken place and it was supposed to be half ounce not a not a full ounce sinker so that being said so also recently did a video on how to tie a tandem lure and now I use the get her done rig lure rig for my tandem. Instead of putting sinker on bottom, I put a jig in on bottom. A heavier jig head than the one on top. Uh, so you can even put a J hook on top, uh, on your top hook and then your on your top hook and then your bottom hook having the jig head. So the get her done rig, if you learn how to tie that, you can also tie that and use that as a tandem rig. And that brings me to my number two favorite rig to use for flounder number two is yeah tandem i love fishing with tandem um get her done rig is number one for flounder tandem rig is so much versatile than the get her done rig not to try and take anything away from the get her done rig it's a fantastic rig to use fantastic setup to use but tandem is very versatile you can fish for you know your top three predator fish that you want on inshore specks reds and flounder so uh, i do throw the tandem rig quite a lot especially when i'm fishing out of my kayak because to be honest with you the way the reason why i i pull away from using a tandem rig so much is because i have twice the amount of chances of getting hung up so uh, when i'm in my kayak i can go right to where i'm hung up at you know nobody has to pull anchor i don't have to inconvenience anybody if i'm weight fishing i don't have to almost drown myself in case i am hung up and it's a little deeper water or if i'm on the bank i just kayak i can get to it i can go over there un unhook myself and just go on about my merry way where i don't have to retire break off Number one rig is get or none. Number two is tandem. And number three is, well, that is your simple single jig head setup. 
30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. I tr go around 40, 40 to 30, but I kind of touch 40 a little bit. I like 40 for uh, for when I am fishing around a lot of structure, when I am fishing for flounder. So I will go up to a 40 fluorocarbon leader line. And then I will use, typically I use a 3 8 of an ounce jig head. Uh, I like it really heavy. I want them on bottom. I don't throw 3 8 a lot, but I will do it when I am fishing for uh, flounder. And a side note, using the getter done rig, you can really zip it out there. You can get a good distance, and I can get a lot of accuracy when I am using the getter done rig. So that's one of the reasons, another reason why I do like that rig so much. But the 3 8 of the ounce, again, I can zip it out there. I can get it uh, much more precise where I want to cast. And also, it's going to stay on bottom more. Single jig head, 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon leader line, 3 eighths of an ounce jig head. And I like to use GOAT. I'm a GOAT guy. I, I believe in Berkeley GOAT. It is a fantastic lure no matter what time of the season you're fishing. Doesn't mean that it's the only lure I use. I use a lot of different ones. I, I love using different lures. I love exploring and trying out new ones and new colors and schemes and styles. But definitely the GOAT is, is the way to go. It is hookup ratio, bite ratio. It is the highest percent strike that I get out of any other lure hands down and no i'm not sponsored by them um, but it's just uh, the god's honest truth and yes i know that they do tear up easy and you can go through a whole a whole pack in just a matter of maybe hours but um you know you're there to catch fish at least i am i'm there to catch fish so if cope is going to get me the best chance to hook up well that's what that's what i'm gonna use so I hope these tips helped you. If you have any other additional questions, um, you know, leave them, leave them down below because you know I'm this is what I'm here for. Um, I'm here to try to entertain, help you guys out a little bit, help you on a learning curve. Uh, you know, uh, I have a Patreon, so I try to help my Patreons out, fish reports, fish forecasts, you know, stuff like that, and and more one on one communication with them and open invites. So on the water, we go out, and if they have any other questions, are Hey, have you tried this lure? Hey, what about this? What about that? You know, we bounce uh, questions and ideas off each other all the time. So if you have any questions, then yes, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Unless you're asking me where I'm fishing. <laughs> no, but seriousness, there's no such thing as a dumb question. So if you do have a question and if you don't want to ask me in the comment section below, then shoot me an email. You can also find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Texas All Water Fishing. Um, even TikTok, even got a TikTok. So if you do have a mess, if you do have a question and you don't want to leave it in the comment section, then find me on one of the other platforms. Shoot it over to me, and I'll see if I can help you guys out. Don't forget the season is closed from November first to December fourteenth. Uh, doesn't mean that you can't fish for flounder. It means that you just can't harvest flounder. I'm going to continue to fish for flounder. I love fishing for flounder, especially when they come there. They come in big numbers. Myself and my friends, Captain Cody, Eric, you know, and including my patrons, we're all still going to go out there. We're going to practice casting and practice fishing. We're going to practice hook setting. So you just hook around. You know, that's another thing that I would mention. When you are... When you do have that thump, you feel that thump, there's no reason to wait for a five-second count, a three-second count. You don't need to wait at all, uh, especially if you are using GOAT. Uh, they will latch on pretty heavy. What I simply do is I reel my rod tip. I lower my rod tip down as I'm reeling to see if it's a fish. I raise it up, and if you feel that weight, if you feel that extra weight, and you feel yourself dragging the flounder then that's a flounder it's a fish there's no reason that he has your lure in his mouth he has your jig in his mouth so there's no reason to wait so then i lower it back down again and then i set the hook fast and hard really hard don't lose the fish because uh you didn't get a good hook set so reel it down real fast real hard and just yank <laughs> Almost try to break your rod. Almost try to break your rod. But you just yank really hard and you get that hook penetration. You're able to land them, secure them, and get them back. You know, if you can, obviously, if the season's closed and you want to release them, but you can get them back on his merry way. No harm, no foul. Just good times, right? So, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to ask them. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. 
And until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.